Hey dudes, what is going on? Welcome back. Here again, playing some more Resident Rise again today, episode number 18. Now, a lot has happened in between last episode and this one. I did stream again, uh, only for uh, like an hour or two though. Uh, let's go to the nether and I'll show you everything that we've done. So, wow, it's laggy here at the moment. <laughs> so, if we run along here, you can see I've got heaps and heaps of farms going. And uh, it's really good, so let's run through which ones we've got. So, obviously we've got the normal tree and the uh, rubber tree farms. And then we've got nether wart, cotton... Uh, I think these are carrots, yep, and then potatoes, and we also got, um, wheat, uh, which one's this one? Yeah, one of those ones. <laughs> I think it does barley, that might be what that is. Uh, and then we got the cactus farms, and we got some sugar farms. Now, there's probably more uh, that I could grow here. Let me know in the comments down below which ones I should put next. Uh, and also, you can see, if we head all the way back, uh, we have got a section here that I'm working on. Uh, these are all going to be huge tanks, so you can see that um, these are all made up of the open blocks tanks because they're relatively cheap and uh, they look good this size. And I've gone ahead and with the uh, multi blocks and made them look a little bit nicer than uh, usual. Oh, that's interesting. It's a bit of a what is going on there? Is that a stair just doing something derpy? Hang on, let's put another one down. Like Sue. Yeah, it's just looking funny. But yeah, that's the plan. So what we're going to do for the first part of this episode is we're probably going to make another one of these just to show you the process and then I'll go along and uh, finish the rest of this up. Now also on stream yesterday, I did a little bit of decorative work uh, along here. I think we're making this look relatively nice. I don't know how good this is look on the uh, recording. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at so far and I need to figure out once we've uh, done a bit of this whether or not we can put like another thing out here, instead of having just uh, bedrock here, put another type of ground layer down. Uh, and also down for the future, uh, I'll go back to the overworld here and you'll see what I'm about to talk about. Um, you can see that if we go to our main storage area here, we're running out of space for our DSUs. And uh, that's going to be a problem soon with all of these farms and stuff we've got going on. So what I was thinking about doing, I don't know whether we'll get to it today, um, is we're probably going to make ourselves, is it a quantum bridge? I can't, yeah, quantum field ring. I don't know, I can't remember what they're exactly called, but it lets you hook up two applied energistic systems across dimensions. Um, but they do use a lot of power, so we might have to get another power source before we start doing that. How long have these got left? Might chuck some more ender pearls in those. Um, but yeah, that is down the track. Uh, so, what we're going to work on first, I don't know whether or not you guys like watching the uh, multi-block stuff being built using forge uh, these micro blocks uh, but we're gonna build another one of these uh, so you can see this first tank is gonna be lava uh, but the next one that we're gonna do is gonna be for our mob essence because if you run back to the base we are full as and uh, probably from I don't know whether it was last episode or not you saw that uh, our essence berry farm where is it yes <laughs> We have got so many essence berries, we need to make a bigger tank for our mob, uh, our XP juice, apparently. So, uh, we're going to move all of this into the nether as well. Uh, that'll be this episode. But yeah, we need to make bigger tanks. Um, so, that'll be on the agenda for the first part of this episode. So, let me know uh, once you've seen me build it, if you like watching that sort of stuff. Sort of, I don't know, it's a little bit more what vanilla Let's Plays are like with uh, big building. Like if you watch B-O-O or Etho or any of those guys. Um... That's what they mainly do a lot of the time, is just decorative stuff. But, uh, yeah, we're going to get going on this. So let me gather a few of these blocks that we need to get started, and I'll be back. Okay, so I think we've got everything we need to get started here. So let's get cracking. Now, first thing we'll put down is all of our tanks. Now, I've gone with 8 high. Uh, it's in 3x3x8, by three by and that should get us over, I think it's close to 1,800 buckets of stuff. So, <laughs> that should be heaps. Uh, let's just quickly put these down. I wonder with uh, if we can use our builder's wand with these tanks. Yes, we can. Awesome. So that should be eight high. Yep, looks like we're out of tanks, so that'll be it. Um, next thing is we'll put the top on, I guess. So we'll use our saw to. Oh, our saw might run out here soon. But that's no worries. Easily make another one. Plonk these fellas down like so. One thing I hate about here is that the ghasts make a lot of noise, which is quite annoying. Um, 
middle block will keep out and we'll use it as our top input so we'll put this ender tank on here i haven't got a color on it just yet uh because we haven't got anything we want to put in this uh, but that's where we're going to put our input and we'll put a torch up here as well or, th or a few well, maybe not. <laughs> How did I get a torch on that one? Ah, yes, that's right, because we're going to put the ender tank on the top of this one as well. All right, now that we've... Ooh, come on, let's go jetpack. <laughs> Stay up on top of here. Um, we'll cut, take this one off real quick so we can put our stairs down. Plonk the dirt there, and then upside down stairs for the top. Awesome, so now we can go around and place the rest of these. Like so. Pretty straightforward. Love all of these uh, different coloured stairs and bricks and stuff that get added. And uh, it's good that the multi block or the micro block has been included for all of this, uh, these things as well. Sort of got lucky with that. I didn't actually pick the blocks. Oh, have we run out? Oh, that's a shame. All right, well, I'll have to do a few more of those off camera. But there, you can see what I mean by uh, putting those down. So I'll put the last of these here. So next thing will be. Um, can get rid of that later. Next thing is all of the red uh, bloodstained things. We probably don't have enough here either. We're going to have to go make some more bloodstained uh, blocks. That's pretty straightforward. It's only uh, sandstone, uh, smooth sandstone, sandstone, blue sandstone, and um, smooth stand sandstone and uh, zombie meat or raw pork chops. <laughs> well, I butchered that then, didn't I? <laughs> oh, not to worry. Let's just keep doing these. So you can see these go in the corner like so. Um, we've only got another eight here. So yeah, we're definitely going to have to go make a few more of these. Like that. And then we'll grab our white pillars. Are they called pillars? Yep. Chuck these down like so. I was sort of sick of making the railcraft tanks because although they're good in some aspects, I don't know, I thought these things would make uh, look a little bit nicer. I've been on a, uh, a bit of a... Uh, I think at the moment, I don't know what you'd call it, a craze about making stuff look good. <laughs> I don't know. This whole nether area for me has been sort of fun to make a little a little bit more decorative than usual. Uh, but it's been a lot of fun so far. So yeah, that is basically it. And uh, once we're done... Whoops, didn't want to bring that screen up. What we'll do is I'll grab our other ender tank here and we'll just chuck him straight on the front. Oh, come on. There we go. So, yeah, that is essentially what I'll be doing. So, I'm going to go along now and do a whole lot more of these. So, the fluids that I've got so far is lava, mob essence, uh, liquid XP, water, uh, oil. Because when I was... Um, where's the journey map? See if I can get to the nether from here. Um, options. How do I change... Uh, use browser, auto map. I don't know whether or not we can get to the overworld. Nope, probably not. Doesn't matter. But yeah, in the overworld, I found an ocean uh, oil fields biome, which is awesome. So we'll get a whole heap of oil. Um, also got biomass. We'll, we'll extend this way, way down here. And uh, I don't know whether I mentioned it or not, but yeah, what we're going to do is build a massive storage room down here at some stage for our DSUs. So let me go and finish off these tanks. And once I've done so, we'll get started on something else for the rest of this episode. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got all of my tanks uh, lined up here, all fully built. And I've slowly been putting uh, the liquids in that were uh, in the other place. I haven't quite got this mob essence one uh, done, but as you can see, let me just... Ooh, I need to reassign my jetpack here. There we go. So I fly up to the top. I have uh, I decided to use Tesseracts instead. Now, this one's hooked up to our liquid XP tank uh, from the... Um, from our main base, that's how we got all of our liquid XP over here. And the fluid mode is set to receive only, so that's how we're going to run this one, just for now. Um, but what we need to do is hook up our, our system again for getting our um, berries into, uh, into the liquid XP. So, let's go ahead and start setting this up. So, we want our autonomous activators, like so, to three... They're all facing the wrong way, but that's cool for now. We can fix this up here in a sec. Where is our hammer? Set them all facing upwards like so. Okay, so next thing will be to set the backs to blue. 
so that they can accept our berries from underneath. Probably don't have enough item ducts on me here, but that's fine. We can set that up in a second here. Okay, so next thing was, if we jump up, uh, we'll place a block here, and then an item, uh, a vacuum hopper just here, and then a fluid duct on top, and we can set our tesseract up on here as well. So, um, I'll have to put on, uh, we'll configure this, so the XP outputs are on the top, Hopefully that links up. Good, it does. I don't know whether or not I have to set this. We'll just set it like that for now. Um, it should be fine. But you'll notice if we put an essence berry in here like so, it'll right click and if I'm close by, it'll go into my inventory. So, uh, let's get some item ducks going here. Have we got any in our bag? Mm, might go get the uh, clear ones. Let's run back to the workshop and quickly get some. So, I've got this going as well, but we need to put our farm back in to actually pick all of these off the bushes. Although we got a lot of them back at the base, I've still got 64 stacks of them in that barrel from our last time. I might not go hook that up straight away, but we'll see how we go. So, um, item ducts. We might actually have some. Yes, 24 of them. Good. Okay, we'll also put a chest down as well. Uh, this one will do. We'll get ourselves an ender chest at some stage, I'd imagine, but, uh, whoops, I didn't want to go in there. I want to eat some food here. There we go. Back to the nether. All right, let's run down here and give this another go. So let's go jump down underneath. Hook all of these up. Whoops, I didn't want to put that one there, but that's fine. And then get rid of that. Put our chest all of our essence berries down over here. Uh, yeah, in the middle will do. I wanted it one further forward, but it'll work just fine. So now let's put a servo on this item duct so we can tell it to automatically pull out any items that come in. So uh, we want it on low. Um, wow, that ghast is having a bad time. <laughs> wow. Um, See if our tesseract set up properly. So it's linked on liquid XP tank. Configuration is send only. Cool, cool. So let's go ahead and chuck all of these in here and they should slowly get pulled out into different machines. Ah, okay, I see what's going on. It's all going into that middle one, which is uh, probably not what we're wanting here. Hmm, that's cool. We'll go get a whole heap more of those and stack them in that chest real quick. Oh, come on, let's fly up here. Is it actually doing anything with them though? Oh yeah. So let's let's run away and see if it's actually sending it into this tank. We should see the numbers change every so often here. Let's look at the tank. Hmm. Maybe not just yet. Whoops. Let's run over and see if it's actually exporting our liquid. No, it's not. So we have to put a servo on this one as well. Uh, whoops. Right-click it. And then low. So yes, now it's going through. So if we go back over to our tank, we should see the liquid XP filling up. Yes, there we go. The number is slightly changing. So that's good. Um, we might get an ender chest hooked up at some stage over here so that we can automatically just throw the XP berries in and it'll do its thing. Um, but if I stand too close, you'll see that the levels go onto my own level bar. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. That's good. Um, well, I said, that seems to be working exactly how we want it, so I'm glad that's the case, except now we just want to fill all of them up, so I'm just going to go grab a whole heap of these berries, chuck them in, and uh, figure out what we're going to do next. Okay, so for the last little bit off camera, what I've been doing is making myself a few more tesseracts. Where is it? We're getting all this enderium ingots just here, smelting up, and uh, if we quickly go back to... Uh, well, actually, while we're here, I'll make some more tesseracts. I can't remember whether I've shown this uh, on camera or not. It's pretty straightforward. Oh, we need some more diamonds. Let's quickly go do something about that. Diamonds, where are we? Eight of them. Just put those... Oh, our pulverizers... Oh, no, it's not. Don't worry. It's all good. It's all good. Go two of these. There we go. 
I've got to do it off camera. I don't know whether to show this, but we've got to figure out how I'm going <laughs> to automatically smelt all of those. So, two Tesseract frames, and now we need to fill those with uh, uh, Ender Pearls. So, it's one bucket's worth of uh, Ender Pearls per Tesseract frame, and there's four Ender Pearls per bucket of Liquid Ender. Does that make sense? I hope so. <laughs> but yeah, they're going to fill up here in a second. And uh, once that has done, we can make ourselves two more. And what we're probably going to do is, we've still got a little bit of time left in the episode. I'm not quite sure how we're going to fill it just at the moment, but we'll find something. So, uh, to start off with, we'll get these Tesseracts going. And there's one. Come on, number two. You can do it. <laughs> but yeah, um, a lot of the Enderpearls have been going into these uh, Enderium ingots, which is... Uh, what, what you need them for, that's why they're so expensive, but I'm just, I've slowly gone and replaced everything downstairs here with Tesseract, so let me quickly go down and show you guys. So, the liquid XP coming out of both of these grinders is going straight into the Tesseracts now. Uh, the other one's down below, that you can't see. And it's going through the thing called Mob Essence In. I've named my tanks so that uh, each channel uh, relates to the storage tank. So mob essence in means it's going into the storage tank and mob essence out is meaning that it's going to the uh, it's exporting the tank and that one we have a test rack behind there powering our auto spawner. Uh, so that's what that's for. Um, also you can see all our tanks are gone from in here so we're gonna clean that up in between episodes but I'll do that off camera. Uh, let me just quickly check these things because they weren't taking the ender pearls before for some reason. See? I don't know why that's doing that. Let me... I don't know why. I'll have to re-log in a second. It's weird, but, uh... Yeah, I'll see if I can fix that. Um, come on, Tesseract, are you done? Yes, you are. But, yeah, we'll go to the, uh, nether in a second. So, we need to fill this up, uh... Yep, with this one here. So, then we got two Tesseracts. So, let's set this up for the oil. Uh, because I think down the track, what we're gonna do is... If we're gonna go through with... Uh, powering our IC2 stuff. I don't want to go with lava because we've done that for our um, redstone flux stuff and uh, I'd rather do something else. So we're going to have an oil tank here. We need another level of um, tanks. So I'll do that off camera but I'll show you quickly how I'm doing this. So these have pneumatic servos in and it's pulling out of the bottom thing. You have to pull out of the bottom of the tank otherwise it'll, if you say you're exporting from this tank it'll get down to this level about here and it won't suck any more of the juice out. So that's why we've got that going into that Tesseract there. Um, I haven't done anything with the lava tank just yet. I'll get to that eventually. Um, so yeah, let me go and make myself nine more tanks for the oil. I think I actually can probably do that on camera here. Let me quickly have a look. I'll just do that off camera and then I'll meet you guys out in the oil fields so that we can get our tank going, um, our pump going so we can get some oil going into our tank. Okay, so I'm out at the uh, oil fields. Whoop, don't fall down now. <laughs> and uh, you can see I've made myself an angel block. These things are amazing. So, if we go over to one of these bigger spouts, what we'll do is uh, we'll get nice and close here. Whoop, come on. And we'll go somewhere like... You don't want to be exactly where we want it. Whoop. Hard to control. And we'll just place it right there. And that is pretty much perfect. So, this thing allows you to just place it next to... The, to the block that you're closest to in the direction you're looking without actually having to press on anything. So that is neat. So let's get our buildcraft pump like so. Uh, let's see if we can get this back without it falling. Oh, yes, we got it. Good, good. Okay, so one tesseract to get power here. Come on. Why can't I touch it? Oh, oh. Ah, uh, it's the Tesseract frame. I didn't get the right one. Whoops. That's alright. Okay, so, uh, this one will be Ender Gen Output. Select that to receive only for the energy mode. So, we might have to use, uh, oh, I might not have any es uh, energy uh, ducts on me. Tesseract frame, nope. And this one will be, whoop, oh, don't fall. Oh, how do I go down? Z. <laughs> These controls are annoying me right now. Um, Lock that guy on top, and we can call this one a new one. Let's call it six. And this one will be uh, oil tank in. Uh, just oil in, I'd imagine. So I'll set that one. This one will be to fluid send only. And that one off. Now I'll meet you guys back over at the tank. We might be running a bit late on the episode here. If this isn't working, I'll come back and fix it up.
Okay, so we are at the end of the episode, guys. So let's quickly just try and get this done. So I've got my other Tesseract here. I made sure I turned it into a Tesseract. So we're going to go uh, Fluid Mode, Receive Only. And we'll go Oil. Oh, I didn't set it. Oh, no. Oil. Input. Ah, uh, yep. Hopefully this has worked. And it's... No, it's not. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Oh, well, I'll fix that off camera, guys. But, uh... Man, I can't believe I messed that up. But anyways, uh, that's going to do it. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. Like it if you have. Uh, and also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you do because I do post fairly regularly here with Minecraft. And I'm starting to do a few different other series as well on the channel. So thanks again, guys. My name's been Snoresby. I'll see you in the next episode.